Hi, I'm Lisa with Sherwin Williams. If you're ready to tackle that next home painting project, these great tips will help you get professional looking results, even if you've never picked up a paintbrush. The pros know that the tools you use are every bit as important as the paint itself. For starters, not all brushes are created equal. Natural bristle brushes are recommended for oil-based paints, stains, shellacs, and varnishes. For latex paints, choose a polyester or nylon polyester blend brush. With proper care, a good quality brush will last for years. Brushes also come in different sizes, from one to four inches in width. A narrow angled brush is best for painting trim, while a wider brush is preferred for large flat surfaces. Sash brushes have bristles that are cut on a slant. Their thin edge makes it easy to paint a straight line against trim, corners, and baseboards. Depending upon what type of paint you're applying, the best roller cover could be made from various synthetic and natural fibers. You should also consider whether your wall is smooth or textured. Roller covers have a nap or pile that varies in thickness to accommodate different surfaces. A stucco wall or a popcorn ceiling, for example, takes a roller cover with a thick pile so the paint gets worked into the uneven surface. If your wall is smooth, a short nap is preferred. And don't overlook the convenience of an extension handle to paint hard to reach places. It's so much easier than climbing up and down a ladder. Another tip is to paint one wall at a time. Cut in first, holding the brush near the base. Dip the brush in the paint, but don't wipe it on the side of the can where it's likely to create drips. A few light taps will shed excess paint. Or pour some paint into a smaller container. This reduces fatigue and the possibility of contaminating your paint. If you're painting a large surface, a roller lets you move much faster than a brush. Working in two foot squares, roll a wide N pattern, then cross roll to fill in. Finish with a few strokes in one direction to smooth the surface. For best results, try not to stop in the middle of a wall. Wait until you reach a corner before taking a break. If your project needs more than one gallon, mix the last third of the paint from one can with the next so you maintain a consistent color. When you finish, record your paint color and sheen so that if you repaint, you can match the color. Write it on a piece of tape stuck to the back of a light switch plate in a room or sign up to become a Sherwin-Williams preferred customer and we'll save your paint and color information. Now that you have these simple tips, you'll be amazed at how easy it is to paint a room.